Our story today picks up after Jesus was born in Bethlehem and focuses around these guys over here. After Jesus was born, Magi from the east came to Jerusalem looking for the newborn king. They saw his star when it rose and were in search for the child to worship him. So on their journey they went. We'll get back to them in a minute. We gotta introduce you to this guy over here. At that time, the king in charge was named King Herod. Herod and his sons ruled Judea during Jesus' life and ministry. Herod was a mean and evil king. When King Herod heard they were looking for a newborn king, he was greatly disturbed. Pay attention and you'll see. When he had called together all the people's chief priests and teachers of the law, he asked them where the Messiah was to be born. They told him, in Bethlehem, in Judea. Hmm. Then Herod called the Magi secretly. He did not tell them the real reason he was looking for the Messiah. He pretended he wanted to worship him too. He found out from them the exact time the star had appeared. King Herod told them to go to Bethlehem and search carefully for the child and that as soon as they find him, they would report to him. Then they left the king. They went on their way, continuing to follow the star. The star went ahead of them until finally it stopped over the place where the child was to be found. When they saw the star, they were overjoyed. Coming to the house, they saw the child with his mother Mary, and they bowed down and worshipped him. Then they opened their treasures and presented him with gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh, gifts fit for a king. And having been warned in a dream not to go back to Herod, they returned to their country by another route. When King Herod realized they had been outwitted by the Magi, he was furious. He made a terrible order. But an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream, warning him to take Jesus and his mother and escape to Egypt. After Herod died, an angel of the Lord appeared in a dream to Joseph and said to return to the land of Israel. So was fulfilled what was said through the prophets, that he would be called a Nazarene. And the child grew and became strong. He was filled with wisdom, and the grace of God was on him. What can we take away from this story? God protected his son from those trying to harm him. He protected him as a little child and would continue to protect him on his life on earth as he accomplished the things that God wanted him to do. No threat against Jesus could succeed. That is, except for that which God would allow. See, there will be a day that God would choose to allow his son to go through something very hard. He would allow his son's hands and feet to be stretched out on the wood of a cross. Not because he could not protect him from this. Like Herod and all other threats, God could have easily sent angels down to rescue him. But in his great love for mankind, he chose not to this time. 1 John 4, 9 to 10. This is how God showed his love among us. He sent his one and only son into the world that we might live for him. This is love, not that we love God, but that he loved us and send his son as an atoning sacrifice for our sins. How sad it must have been for the father to give up his only son. 
but this will not end in sadness. Three days later, Jesus would rise from the dead, just like he said he would, defeating death and making a way for mankind to be made right with God and spend eternity in heaven if we believe in him, with Jesus as our eternal king. The newborn king in the manger will one day reign on David's throne forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Isaiah 9, 6, and 7. Isaiah 9, 6, and 7. For to us a child is born. To us a child is born. For unto us a child is born. To us a son is given. Unto us a son is given. A son is given. And the government will be on his shoulders. On his shoulders, and he will be called. And he will be called. And he will be called. And he will be called Wonderful Counselor. Wonderful Counselor. Wonderful Counselor. Mighty, Mighty God. God. Mighty God. Everlasting Father. Everlasting Father. Everlasting Father. Everlasting Father. Prince of Peace. Prince of Peace. Prince of Peace. Prince of Peace. Of the increase of the government and of peace, there will be no end. Of the greatness, greatness of the government and of peace, there will be no end. There will be no end. No end. He will reign on David's throne and over his kingdom. And over his kingdom. Establishing and holding with justice. From that time on. From that time on and forever. Forever. Merry Christmas.